Welcome back everyone. Ding dong, pancake, Nimrod. No, those are not just random words or nicknames for your friends. Uh, those are a few of the weirdest named towns in Texas. And every time Sean Giggy goes out to cover a story and passes through some of these towns, he always wonders how the heck did they come up with that hmm. name? So he said, you know what? I'm going to go and find out. Giggy He's Bites goes on the road to visit some of the weirdest named towns here in Texas. Where did Nemo, Texas come from? That was before or after finding Nemo. Where do you think they came up with the name Ding Dong, Texas? Maybe there's a lot of dumb people. <laughs> Every day we pass through places with weird names without even noticing. Zipperlandville. That's real. But did you ever wonder where those names came from? I don't know what they were thinking at all. Their origins reveal an interesting piece of Texas history. And if you head north of Greenville on Highway 34, you'll find this ghost town. Welcome. Bug Tussle, Texas. Today, the North Texas community of Bug Tussle has a population of zero, but its weird name lives on. Every year, a group of antique car enthusiasts travel all around the area with their classic cars. One of the first stops they make is right here at the old general store, which is why they call this the Bug Tussle Trek. Yay, Bug Tussle! Something tells me you would have fit in right here in Bug Tussle. Yeah, I'd, I'd really fit in. With my old truck and everything like that. How long you been doing the Bug Tussle Trek? 50 years. Do you know how Bug Tussle got its name? No, I don't. Bug Tussle. How about that one? Mm-hmm. Maybe that's what people did for entertainment before, watch bugs get into fights. <laughs> Look at those crickets, man! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got 20 on the grasshopper. I bring you greetings from the good people of Bug Tussle. Believe it or not, the name Bug Tussle actually does come from bugs fighting. <laughs> But those bugs weren't fighting each other. They were fighting people. You know this area well. Well, I should, 86 years. Do you know why they called it Bug Tussle? Whoa. They've had a community ice cream supper here. That ice cream social was hosted by the local church way back in the 1890s. But before anyone could enjoy a fresh scoop of vanilla, the ice cream social was invaded by bugs. People spent so long fighting, or tussling with the bugs. It ruined the ice cream social, and the name Bug Tussle eventually stuck. If you look at our shirts, those are the bugs tussling. <laughs> Today, folks yeah, like these car collectors want to make sure that name sticks around even longer. Do you think the name Bug Tussle is going to live on for a while? Oh, yeah. Forever. Bug Tussle's here to stay. The only thing left is redemption. Time for some bug free ice cream. Wait, what? <laughs> So what was the deal with the ice cream? Bugs, are, <laughs> bugs are still chasing me. They're still that tussling That may be a hygiene bugs. problem, okay? I don't know that's following you in here. The ice cream, the particular part with me where I threw the ice cream cone, my photographer, Brandon Mowry, said, hey, try. He put his GoPro on the ground. It's just a little cube, one by one inch about. He goes, try and get it to land right in front of the GoPro. I'm like, well, that's going to be difficult. How many takes? One take. I only had one, one ice cream cone. One ice go, cream cone, one take. I'm like, I'll try and get it to land in front. Hopefully, I don't land it on the GoPro. And I landed it on the GoPro. I was envious you got to sit in the front seat of that gorgeous old Cadillac. You'll have to go out to the Bug Tussle I'm Trek I'm headed next to Bug year. Tussle. The Bug Tussle. Can, Bug Tussle Trek. Can you tell us where you're going next or where you're going to be looking at next? Because we next have to wait week, for that. Next week, we're going to Zipperlandville. But don't look up how they got the name. You'll have to tune in next week. It's a land end of Ville. Yes. That's coming up next week. All right, and if you have an interesting town or place, um, send it our way. Maybe we'll send Sean Giggy to you. Thank you, Sean. You're welcome. Have Thank fun. You. Yeah. Coming up next year at 6.30, we are getting...